uh, he really was a church boy kid. If you, yeah, yeah, because you hear God in his in, in, in his lyrics, facts, in his music, in his voice. Yeah, and, and that's and, and you saw, uh, that that was a young that was a kid, homie, that was battling his 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 duality, that dual nature, that 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 good versus evil, and, and it is my honest belief. Uh, yeah, it's my honest belief, homie. That little time he he had running, uh, he was talking to God. Hmm. Uh, everybody don't get that little time. He had time to know these niggas was following him. Mm -hmm. Know they was on side of him. Hmm. To call his manager to say, "What's up, Rainwater man?" These niggas followed him. So he had time, homie. So can you imagine, nigga? Now God get to talk to you before you die. We don't know what God say to us before we die. We know what He say to us when we in jail by ourselves. He got to get out the car. Walk over to try to get his gun out the glove box. It mm -hmm. didn't work. And now he running. But he running for his life. Hmm. Uh, you ever been afraid for your life? Yeah, you I was I was deployed in Iraq. So yeah, nigga call on God. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, nigga told me they was in Vietnam. He was calling on the Buddhist God. Hmm. Yeah, he said when he was in Vietnam, he talked to Buddhists. Uh, certain situations that make you call on God. You don't care what God it is. Hmm. Uh, so I believe now, nah, homie Mo Three. If you listen to his lyrics, you know God was in his heart. Uh, uh, when you meet his mother, like all of us, homie, we come from good seeds. Very few of us come from bad parents. Yes, sir. Yeah, very few. We might come from bad situations and bad circumstances, but very few of us come from bad, bad parenting where our parents taught us to do wrong. They might not taught us all the way right from wrong, but they, not many of our parents taught us to do wrong. So uh, when I saw the way he died, homie, uh, yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew uh, God gave him a chance. So I, I pay attention to a, a person's life and the way they go. Mm -hmm. uh, grandmama and them don't die like that, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I was a secret Mo Three fan up until now. Uh, I finally came out the closet uh, and told everybody I'm a Mo Three fan, and that's really why I was fucking with Trap Boy Freddy. I really been having a disdain for that nigga, watching that nigga celebrate uh, Mo Three death, and and he didn't get the same backlash that I get. That nigga really celebrated Mo Three's death, homie. Hmm. That man didn't nobody get the backlash that I get for saying fuck King Von. Hmm. So you think that rappers get passes? That's why you kind of come uh, at them. Uh, Nah, that ain't, that ain't why I come at them. Uh, they are the bullies, and so I bully the bully. I, I intentionally go after them because they intentionally come after us. Uh, every song they make, bitch, hold this, that, nigga, they ain't, nigga, they mash on the black woman. Don't nobody do the black woman worse than the rapper. And we clap for these niggas, and we got mamas and sisters. Homie, don't you know how bad them niggas will do your daughter if she went to try to see them backstage? Hmm. <laughs> You know how bad they'll do your, your sister? <laughs> so, why we love these niggas so much? And most of these niggas some whole ass niggas, homie. It be they crew, be the, be the thoroughbreds. The average rapper, if he went to his neighborhood and told, hey, everybody be quiet, wouldn't nobody be quiet. Half these niggas ain't got no voice nowhere if they cut the microphone off. <laughs> Half these niggas is a, is a, is a puppet. What would, what would you want people to know about Charleston White? That they don't know. Uh, Charleston don't want to do wrong to nobody. I live my life. I'm, I'm going to do wrong. Yes, sir. I'm going to do wrong, but I don't wake up to do wrong to people. I don't lie. I don't steal. And I don't cheat. Uh, I got a little partner named Bingo. God rest his soul. He used to come to the classy lady all the time. Gangster motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Well, I was doing bad in the bitch one day. That nigga dropped a hundred dollars at the gambling table. Didn't nobody see you drop it. But me. <laughs> I need that hundred. You need that hundred. But boy, I understand you can block your blessings. Okay. So I gotta wrestle with myself, nigga. You go get it. Say, look at that, homie. You dropped that hundred. The next day. Me and the kids was outside picking up trash. Now, I was wrong for this because me and the little nigga saw the hunter at the same time, but I swabbed him down. I saw it. That's mine, nigga. That's my hunter. 
He don't need that, honey. He ain't gonna do no more spending. Need that, I'm, yeah, I need yeah. it for gas and food and everything. Yes, sir. But I say that to say this. That hunter came back to me, homie. She's laying in the field. Wow. The very next day. So I learned to do right because right is the right thing to do. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, that's how you get your blessings in life. Oh, uh, nigga, I ain't doing right for attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ain't, I ain't helping. I didn't start helping in the community for money. I never even knew how to ask for money to help people. Uh, so I would take my own money and spend it. So what people see me doing now is is reaping the rewards for for being a faithful servant. Uh, nigga, I ain't had no plans to do none of this. I don't know nothing about none of this shit. Yes, sir. Nigga, I just mastered YouTube. I'm still trying to learn Instagram. Uh, uh, so nah, homie, I'm just I'm just a guy uh, that was working in the community, got frustrated, came to the internet to vent, cuss out the street niggas <laughs> who I didn't like, and became a, a internet sensation. Yes, sir. Uh, and now I'm doing comedy. Amen, sir. Yeah, so. Hey man, look, I, I, we can sit here all day and talk, man. I, I, look, once again, can I, I come I, back tomorrow? You yeah, you, hey tomorrow? man, you can come back anytime you want to. I bet you come back yeah. anytime you want to. I know you're just getting uh, the hang of that Instagram, but where can they follow you at? Where can they check out more Charleston White if they want to, if they want to tap in? Uh, say uh, Charleston White underscore Texas. Now that's a bunch of uh, it's a whole bunch of pages. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of pages. And that's Instagram right. letting them fuck over me homie, because I tra- <laughs> I trademark my name. I copyrighted my name. So uh, I send in all the documents for them to get these pages taken down. They still let them get me. <laughs> uh, so you can catch me at, at Instagram, uh, my YouTube, The Real Charleston White, uh, on all streaming platforms, The Game Related Podcast. That's The Real Charleston on The Game Related Podcast. Okay. Say less. So I don't do no buffoonery, no We got to subscribe to that. Yeah, that's The Real Charleston White. Man, I got judges, politicians, lawyers, juvenile workers. Uh, I try to get common people with extraordinary stories okay. and amplify them through my platform. Yes, sir. Uh, we got, what, Nino Brown, DJ Scream, uh, uh, Lil Boosie's supposed to be coming on there, but I think he mad at me. He might not be coming back. <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, uh, uh, we got Monique, Judge, Joe Judge Brown, uh, Judge Joe Brown supposed to be coming. Uh, so yeah, we got a nice little lineup yes, over sir. there, man. So, uh, uh, oh, and on TikTok. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on TikTok too. God damn right. Hey man, you can follow me at Ugly Money Nietzsche. That's Ugly Money N-I-C-H-E. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. This has been the Ugly Money Podcast with Charleston White. Oh, who told that boy he was ugly? <laughs> yeah, who told he was ugly when he was looking? <laughs> <laughs>